So you can see here I'm on my Kodi system and I think this program is being uh, recorded right now and I can uh, jump around in it. I can jump say 10 minutes forward. I can pause and stop and if I play again it says you want to start where you left off and you can say yes. There you go. You can you have a commercial skip. Let's see. Let's go back to the beginning here. So here we are about 1 minute 50. If I hit the right arrow I jump 10 seconds. If I hit it twice we jump about 30 seconds and that's all set up from your um, playback here. So if we go back to uh, Let's see, so you go here to t video, there we go, there's your jumps, so you can go plus minus 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 3 minutes, 5, 10, each one of those jumps there is a one click of the right or the left arrow on your remote, so if you want to skip 60 second commercial, three clicks on the right button will skip forward 60 seconds. Four clicks will go three minutes and you can actually change those times if you want. So that, that's a pretty neat feature. So you can see it's uh, currently recording up there. So that was the show we were watching. You have the channel icons you see have showed up. If you look up there, there's the channel icons. I can come down here to my channel guide. And I've configured on the far left column, I have the actual channel number displayed. Then there's the, the name of the station. Underneath that is the program that's on. You have the channel icon. And this all got pushed over automatically. And you can see up at the top, it says favorites. I can go down here. I could have multiple groups, all channels, or just my favorite channels. And then I also have the program guide. It gives you a, a big description down here at the bottom. So it gives you a full description of the program plus the channel logo. So this is pretty much the same on Kodi. The, you know, the new thing you get over here are these channel logos show up automatically. They get pushed over from the uh, server. So every player I have picks up all that data automatically. I don't have to do anything to get that. But then let me show you one other thing on uh, the Windows platform that's new with version 6. So this was your version 5.5. You accessed everything through a web browser. In version 6, there's a separate program. You can see there's no web browser involved and you have an actual dedicated program with your TV guide, you have your recordings. Now the only difference I notice is in this one, they don't do the sorting by series unless you go and pick one. So if you want to just look for like Gilligan's Island, then it gives you just the Gilligan's Island recordings. But it doesn't automatically put things in folders like the uh, Kodi client does. So that's a little bit different, but you can look at your recording schedules, change them, edit, delete. So unlike the Kodi client with the Windows, and I think they have an iOS viewer as well, you can go back and do your configuration. So you can configure everything through the client and you can play back things through the client. Yeah, the big difference that I notice is, let's look at the same program we were watching this one. So if we show this same program, the uh, program playback doesn't spawn a VLC player window. It comes up in this, this window. There's not much in the way of a user interface. You can stop. You got your volume. You have pause, play but there's no fast forward or rewind. But I, I think it's a better interface than popping up the VLC player. If we go back to um, the VLC player, like here, this is version five. So it's got a pop-up VLC. 
wait for that to start and now you have that going but one of the problems doing the VLC playback that creates an M3U file which is kind of your MPEG playlist file so every time you watch a program you get an M3U file in your downloads directory and then after weeks or months you've got thousands of m3u files that somebody's got to go delete <laughs> you know if you want to get rid of them so yeah i think this built-in player is pretty nice and the Kodi playback is really nice you have all of the controls the jump forward and backward and it would be nice if they had the Kodi interface here yeah there's no arrow keys don't do anything there's no fast forward or rewind. You have pause and stop. Yeah, I think this uh, version 6 is pretty promising. So I, my plans are I'm going to upgrade my version 5.5 license from my PC and get that relicensed on my Synology. I just have ordered a second HD home run tuner so I'll have four tuners again and I'll put the four tuners on the Synology NAS and that way I don't have to have a PC running all the time. The Synology is pretty much running 24-7 anyway doing whatever it's doing. It, it'll go to sleep if it's not being accessed but it's uh, responding to network requests so if in the middle of the night there's a program it'll just wake up record the program and and then go back to sleep if it is not busy so I, I think that'll be really nice. I have, I'll have my recordings on there I'll have the tuners, all the databases, everything will be on one machine and then all my other systems can just access that data as clients. So I think that'll work pretty nice. Yeah, this player program is pretty good for live TV. It's not all that great for recorded TV. I think the Kodi interface is probably better for that. And there's nothing preventing you from loading Kodi on your Windows machine. You can load the Windows version of Kodi if you wanted to. Again, the, the big benefit of this is you have one place where you manage all your channels, all your program guide data. You have one place where you have your favorites list. If you want to do your channel logos, you can have all those in one place. And you can do all of your program guide setup in one place. And then all that data gets propagated to all of your clients, all of your TVs or PCs or tablets or anything running the DVB link client will pick that data up. Yeah, if you have any uh, questions about this DVB Link version 6, post up in the comments section down below the video description there. Maybe I'll do a video when I add the uh, second HD Home Run Tuner. And if I get the perk data loaded, I'll try that and see if there's any difference in that data than the XML TV. So until then, uh, you can subscribe to the channel for updates. And as always, Thanks for watching.